Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. It's five o'clock in the evening, um, at the end of November, and we're sat outside in the sun. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Yes, yes. I would have shorts on, but I couldn't be bothered. Uh, it's Friday. Yes, End of did. our working week. We've achieved a fair bit this week. We have, we've done good. Yes. And, uh... I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we've done, we've done well. Hope, uh, yeah. Hopefully people will agree when they see the videos. And mm. we do appreciate everybody watching and we'd like to welcome all our new subscribers and thank our regular subscribers and thank everybody that always comments. We, yes. we do really enjoy that, as you know. Well, it's sunny, but by heck, it's cold. It's really, really cold. Uh, we had an overnight low of uh, about one, maybe two degrees centigrade. So that is cold for here. Uh, i just come out to... to uh, See if we can show you all the birds, but they've gone. So we've got lots of figs left. Ones that are no good for us. And we're just leaving them for the birds to eat. Let them have, have something. There uh, yeah. Might be some that are, are worth keeping, using, but I doubt it. So we spotted yesterday we do have an olive tree that has some olives, which is quite cool, uh, but not many, not many at all. So I think Lillian's going to go down and pick them, and me, I'm going to start taking all that white off the walls there where it's loose in preparation for, for painting. Now we can't put the paint on for a few days we're not due any rain so that's good because the overnight temperature is a little bit too low in the comments on our last video i was asked about the why we didn't wasn't sure whether this roof on the little room was safe that's the reason so there's bad ass there look, and as you can see there's cracks all the way along been badly made and badly fitted there I'm sure it'll be fine but uh, yeah I'm not willing to risk it this room needs renovating eventually it's on my list of jobs which I'm not in a hurry uh, so as obviously leak water over over a period but we don't know for definite and also <coughs> There's petrol in here, so it's a bit strong. Uh, this wall was not tied in. We know that for definite because of the way it's moved. And the crack you see on the outside is here as well. And this had fallen off after a period of time. And literally, I think this door frame is the lintel here. <sighs> so eventually, That'll also get fixed because they literally built a brick lean-to and didn't bother tying it in. And the traffic that goes down when we get heavy traffic, it sends vibrations through a little bit. And it doesn't matter how many times you fill this crack, it opens up again. So for the moment, it's safe, <laughs> let's say, but uh, it does need repairing properly. Um, and I think we do actually have a lintel that's wide enough. So that could be a job for later on after Christmas. So if we can get a lintel in there, cleverly, we'll get a couple of acros and just hold that lintel in there, that will at least give this a bed. But if you can listen, Yeah. 
Sometimes builders shouldn't be called builders. I'd hate to see what their Lego houses were like when they were children. Oh gosh, no, it's strong, eh? Yeah. Which is a good thing for our roof, it's just a bad thing for the bucket. <laughs> well, we can put... I can put olives in that. Yeah, well, I, I tried to have a go. It's, uh, I thought, oh, be able to get behind it and it'll go, but... No. No, you just got to pick at it and pick at it. And... As you can see, the bucket wasn't particularly clean to start with. <laughs> we cleaned it up best we could and this paint's actually pulling the whatever was in there before off. I could do with having this on the surface, it's not wriggling. Let's go around here, boys. Oh, okay. Ooh, that, that'll be cold on your bum. Yes, it will. <laughs> For my two assistants. Interesting. What are we doing? Are well, Loki will be going then? destruction. I don't sit in my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you finished, boys. <laughs> well, it didn't work as we would have liked to have done for a little bit of fun, but. How do you reckon, Nova? The boys still think it's great. <laughs> what? Entertaining the kids. What is it? Now this is what's gone on the roof. Now this is a real good test. Of how stretchy it is. <coughs> <laughs> I can't break it. That's good. You don't want to on the roof. <laughs> it's stretched a wee bit, but... Well, at least the roof was better prepared than this bucket. Exactly. <laughs> so everyone's waiting expectantly for the bits of rubber. No, leave my lugs alone, you. strength behind it, eh? <laughs> I'm going with that. Oh, you go and have a play with that tree. I will. It won't take two of us, I don't think. Not for our no. on it. You might get five. <laughs> Hopefully I get enough to, to be able to just pickle some, or, sorry, preserve some. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame looking at this uh, palm tree that it's not a date palm. Yeah. Imagine if those were all edible dates, if only, eh? Yes, they're lovely. Right, I'll go up and go scrape up there. Yes. And uh, I'll let you go and pick olive. I'll go that away. So Chris is working up there over on the roof. That's oh. our top garden. This is our bottom field. It's fenced in. This little tiny triangle here is also ours. And <laughs> there's next to no olives on it, but at least we've got some. We've had really bad harvest, nothing on anything else. Oh, look at people taking their rubbish. So annoying. Just, wow, these are megas. Big, but not many. So I'll get these picked and processed. We did expect to have a very bad olive harvest and nationally there's been a very bad olive harvest. These are beauties, they're huge.
some point when we actually have the building works finished up at the caves and the house and what have you we do have to look at our land and sort of just do some maintenance um this rock needs fixing we'll actually have to do this one probably before winter now but look how this has been made up with all sorts of things there's an old pot there's bits of marble um this is fantastic dry stone wall at the bottom and then mishmash of things on top afterwards and lots of little holes where animals and things live inside see down there's a bit of brick the rest of it's stone <coughs> we'll have to learn how to dry stone wall which our neighbours have started to do here on the other side of the lane there just building it up you can see over there maybe they start to build a an obvious barrier to where their land starts and where their land finishes. This one hasn't been done so prettily, it's got blocks. But it can still be made to look pretty. And hopefully people will stop chucking the rubbish over here. Right, that's this tree done. That was it. I thought Chris was joking when he said I'd maybe be maybe five minutes. <laughs> but no. Oh no, missed two. This dog does make me laugh. Can you see? Probably can't. He's licking the gate. He needs to be the other side. He needs to be with me. He's licking it. All I can see from this side is teeth. Stupid animal. What are you doing? <laughs> Licking the gate. So how's it going? Not bad, not bad. This won't come off at all. That is solid, solid, solid. Mega? That bit will. That bit there will. And a couple of places along there. Um, this isn't plastic paint down here. Oh, isn't it? No. Because I got behind it and I thought, oh, I can peel a little bit and it just crumbles away. So it's not plastic paint, same as that's not. That bit there isn't, but no. that bit there is. But well, this bit here is. Okay. Um, not plastic paint, the rubbery stuff. The, the, yes, this, we're going to call it plastic paint. But yes, this rubber stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the stuff. And as you can see, it's worked. Yes. It just needs cleaning up, whereas up here it hasn't exactly worked. Yep. All along there, I don't know. We may have, uh, may have to have a larger meal doing that. Okay. Because it's not particularly good behind. Mm -hmm. It's all crumbling away. But it might be all right. We just won't look very smooth and nice. Well, I don't think looks matters so much as... Yeah, but I tried to get that bit off and I took that bit out. Okay. So it's really, it might be all right the rest of the place, but here it's not very good. Okay. So whilst Chris is uh, just doing this, yeah. And I'm sitting here supervising. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing it. This is going to be. I'm not going to get all this lot done today because it's giving me backache already. I know, it's cold, isn't it? It is. Um, I'm just going to show you. Obviously, this is the roof. It's looking fantastic. Really pleased. And that's the bit that we just gave it a paint to make it look pretty. Right, I'm just standing up and doing a little bit at the top now. Yeah. Set it down there because it's my back's aching. This is awesomely constructed. Look how good quality the cement they used was. Not. And this is, and I think that's the reason why this paint hasn't worked here. It's just gone to sand underneath. Maybe when they built this, or made this, or whatever they did to it, Cement was probably a, a week's wages for a bag, and sand was really cheap. I don't know. But that is, and I'm not a builder, we're learning as we go, but I know that that was never mixed properly. No, it's dreadful quality. Yeah. Yeah, whoever, whoever made it, 
we were cutting corners or they didn't know they knew even less than we did and that hollow sound is because it's on top of tiles to keep tiles down yeah this edge is all right yes it is that's all good so it's just literally this top that was badly done It's all as easy as this to take off, but you've done in no time. I've made an executive decision. I'm going behind Chris now and tidying everything up. But I've decided it's coffee time, so I'm off to boil the kettle instead. <laughs> well, that's a mighty fine idea. Is it? Oh, good. I'm glad I had a mighty fine idea. Yeah, I could do it just resting. The problem is, working down like that, it does hurt my back. I've got a bit of a glass back. I know you have. Working at this height is perfect, but down there or just doesn't work. So I've just reached up into that tree as best I can and uh, got some more figs, so that's good. I think I've got enough here to make it worthwhile firing up the dehumidifier and we'll see how we get on. Well, it's another bright yet cold day. <laughs> It's winter after all, so I'll try and keep not reminding ourselves it's winter. Right, so my uh, intention is to get all the weeds done on the cave roof. So to that end, I've got the strimmer head bit there and the blade and the tools. Now I've got to remember how <laughs> to take it all apart and put it all together. You know, sometimes you, you throw instructions away <laughs> and sometimes you shouldn't because it's been so long since I used this trimmer, especially with the cutting blade, I've forgotten how to take it apart to put the blade on. So I stripped all the trimmer thing down and there's no centre knot. No, because, <coughs> because you have to put a tool in into a hole that's just just there and then this has a, a hole for the tool to lock it and you take the whole lot off in one <sighs> so that's 10 minutes gone <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter because it needs the string sorting out on it anyway right let's see now if I can put the uh, the blade on and this is a universal blade this one so there's no actual instructions specific to the machine. It doesn't seem to have a proper cutout for it. And then I know, because of the marks, that that bit sits on there. But I don't understand why it doesn't centre. Maybe I've made a mistake. Yeah, I've made a mistake. This blade sits between the back spacer and this spacer. And now it's centred. Put that on. Find the nut, which is a left hand thread, I'm just tying it up. that I've got a lesson so I'm gonna go and do that now for an hour leave Chris up there he can't keep the camera in case um, stones hit the camera I've also put the car outside and I'm gonna take the dogs inside with me move the glass table under there and in case stones come over this this way I'm gonna take the dogs inside with me whilst I have a lesson this is very noisy. Hi, 
Come on, boys, let's go home. So, how's it going? It's going all right. Um, I had to come down for some more fuel. I had a little bit left, so hopefully that should be enough. Fingers crossed. I hope so. And then we've got some clearing up to do. An awful lot, I should think. I'm going to come and have a look now. Yes. <laughs> Lessons finished. The boys behaved themselves in the house. That was good. They did keep going to want to check to see what the funny noises were. Because <laughs> it does sound weird from downstairs in our living room when the cutting's happening above. Is it still loud? Is it quite loud? It is quite loud, actually. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it looks bigger as it gets flatter. <laughs> yeah, all those that tumbleweed. So they are, yes. That we're up against the wall growing. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get a, get a rest of this done. But there is some damage to the chimney. I'll have to go and have a look while I get this sorted out. very needs repairing. We knew it needed a like a monocap capping just to make it look nice but didn't know there was that off up for not coming up and checking but okay. So this is Lillian seeing it for the first time since it's been chopped. People would be happy to have a back garden that size, wouldn't they? It's a lot bigger than it was. Well, <coughs> it isn't, but it looks it. Yeah. Okay, right. We better get this piled up somewhere. Yes. I haven't got a clue where. Me neither. I think in our bottom bit of field, take it down there. Okay. I think that'll be the best bet because we can't put it all into that little bag. Or that drug. Or that drug now. Okay. Right, we'll get it raked first into a pile, I think. That's the royal weed, as you can see. That's a good job well done. Looks like somebody cares about the place. Don't <laughs> yeah, I've come up with a strummer again now, won't you, darling, with a string on such strings on it. Yeah. To do the bits that have been missed. Yeah, but was that much to come I know you couldn't. It's fine. Uh, yeah, and then I got as close to these blocks as I could without catching the metal blade and ruining it. Of course, yeah. How close the uh, fiber optic is. Fiber cable. That close. It's not protected. Wouldn't you have thought that it had some kind of protection in it? Yeah, so that's, that's our fiber optic cable. Comes down there, down into the property here. Yeah. No armoring on it like this or anything. <laughs> right. Just get that rubbish. Yes. And we are done. We are done for today. Good job well done. Thank you very much. And that is going to need some fettling. Soon. Yeah, it is really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those water's going to come in. It's coming into cave two, which, as you all know, is finished. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. 
If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.